Jets packing on the pounds. It could be a problem. A new study says that Pennsylvania has some of the biggest dogs, averaging 18 pounds overweight. Ohio fell in the middle of the pack, and First News reporter Samantha Bender took a closer look at what can cause pet obesity and how you can prevent it. Easily 60% of our pets are overweight, and a large fraction of those are obese. Uh, obesely overweight. Dr. Allen has been in the animal practice for 42 years. He tells me he sees obese dogs and cats frequently. The weight is hard on the heart. The heart has to pump blood through all that tissue and the fat. Uh, it's hard on their backs. Uh, we see a lot of dogs that have blown a disc in their back. A good test to use to determine whether your pet is at a healthy weight is if you can feel the ribs but not see them. If the ribs are difficult to feel under a thick fat cover, that is a sign that your pet may be obese. Dr. Allen tells me it's important to measure and monitor the actual amount of food you're giving your pet. If you're feeding your dog a cup and a half twice a day and he's getting heavy, then cut it to a cup and a quarter twice a day and add veggies. Recommended serving sizes cannot always be trusted. Rarely should you ever feed what it says on the bag because they want to sell food and that would be for a very uh, energetic, very um, active dog or cat. And although it's hard not to feed your furry friend table scraps, try your best to avoid it. Instead, Dr. Allen recommends serving fruits and vegetables as treats. He also says if you have an overweight pet, it's a good idea to bring it to the vet for a blood profile to check its liver, kidney, and sugar levels. In Youngstown, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27, First News.